Benedict and De Eloise's Bridgerton Season 4 story arcs teased by showrunner. Bridgerton showrunner Jess Brownell teases Benedict, Luke Thompson, and Eloise Bridgerton's, Claudia Jesse, next chapters heading into Season 4. The hit Netflix series is based on Julia Quinn's novel series of the same name and has brought the first, second and fourth books to screen alongside a prequel spin-off focused on Queen Charlotte. While season 3 focused on the relationship between Penelope Feet Harrington, Nicola Coughlin, and Colin Bridgerton, Luke Newton, both Benedict and Aloise experienced growth that challenged them and saw them begin their own journeys heading into Bridgerton season 4. Recently Brownell opened up to The Hollywood Reporter about what season 4 will bring for Benedict and Aloise. The showrunner teased that season 4 will see Benedict have the opportunity to branch out and finally discover what he is seeking following his experiences with Tilly Arnold, Hannah New, and Paul Suarez, Lucas Aurelio. Check out Brownell's response below. I think we're going to continue on the storyline of Benedict learning exactly how he wants to exist in the world. There's a moment towards the end of the season where Benedict is talking to Tilly about how he doesn't want anything serious and Tilly in a very powerful way says to him that's okay but it was really nice to want something for once. And there's a look on Benedict's face that I think Luke Thompson delivers really beautifully where you can tell that that hits him in a deep way. I think Benedict is someone who experiences a lot of breaths in his life in terms of a million different experiences but he's never really committed to anything. I think what he's starting to realize is that he also craves depth and so Benedict reconciling breadth with depth is something we're going to dive into pretty deeply in future seasons. The showrunner was then asked about Aloise saying that her travels beyond the ton would give her room to find her path. Read the quote below. Potentially. Aloise is in a tough position because she's so different from all of the other young ladies in the ton and I think it's difficult for her to figure out her path in life. And so we're continuing that. Going into season 4 she's going to be on that journey and there's more to come. Given how the season challenged how he lives his life and views potential relationships the series has placed Benedict in a prime position to center the story on him though his season 3 trysts may lead to new layers being added to his relationship with Sophie. While the Netflix series deviating from the books would change how Benedict's story unfolds the three-way relationship between him Tilly and Paul sets the stage for where the novels would take his journey. With Tilly opening his mind to casting aside societal pressures in the name of love the series is poised to introduce Sophie Beckett a heroine with her own complex story in high society. With the Brit Curtain season 3 finale teasing a masquerade ball it seems inevitable that he will meet his future partner and lessons learned from Tilly will help him see beyond Sophie's unfortunate circumstances. An offer from a gentleman. Follows Benedict's story which opens with a masquerade ball where he meets a masked Sophie Beckett. Meanwhile Aloise's season 3 arc has remained largely faithful to her novel's trajectory should season 4 delve into her story. While Philip Crane. Chris Fulton, is locked in a loveless marriage to preserve his family's honor their potential relationship hasn't been ruled out with the pair beginning their long-distance romance before meeting in person in the book. As such should season 4 focus primarily on Benedict's tale Aloise's arc could give her an opportunity for personal growth alongside slowly reintroducing Philip through their letters as she resides with Francesca in Scotland. Bridgerton season 3 ended with each sibling following a new path yet it is still unclear which Bridgerton child will be the star of the next season. Given some of the hints Benedict seems poised to take a leading role in Bridgerton season 4. Given how the season challenged how he lives his life and views potential relationships the series has placed Benedict in a prime position to center the story on him though his season 3 trysts may lead to new layers being added to his relationship with Sophie. Furthermore while Aloise may not find herself as the lead romantic just yet season 4 seems primed to take her on a journey that will expand her worldview beyond her initial plans with Penelope. Source, THR. From Sean Dayland and creator Chris Van Dusen Netflix's Brit Curtain is based on the romance novels of the same name by author Julia Quinn. The series follows the eight Brit Curtain siblings Anthony Benedict Colin Daphne Aloise Francesca Gregory and Hyacinth as they search for love during the social season and navigate life in Regency era England. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. 
This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. The finale of Brit Curtain Season 3 sees a major secret finally revealed marking the end of a particularly iconic era in Brit Curtain history. While Pulp Fiction might be director Quentin Tarantino's most acclaimed movie the origin and meaning of its title remain a mystery for many viewers. Like all Pixar movies the long-awaited sequel to Pixar's beloved 2015 movie contains a number of Easter eggs and references to other Pixar movies. House of the Dragon Season 2 expands upon its already enormous ensemble adding characters to each side of the conflict. Here's who you need to know. A billion dollar sleeper hit the Super Mario Brothers. Movie laid the groundwork for plenty of sequels including a Princess Peach centered spin-off. Susan Twist's Doctor Who character permeates Nkudi Gotway's first season as the 15th Doctor but her true identity is only revealed very late. The Netflix anime record of Ragnarok adapts a popular source material yet its seasons have somewhat disappointed fans leading to season 3. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts.